space weather events and uh, often creates uh, huge impact uh, uh, nanosatellites much more than big satellites. In fact, uh, nanosatellites are very small and that's why they are very vulnerable uh, to uh, space weather events and cosmic rays. Uh, this is uh, our uh, uh, group participants, only uh, five people, but uh, 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 the working of the group was very productive. Uh, we uh, outlined uh, the main problems of nanosatellites and uh, also the ways of uh, their mitigation. So the first is uh, space weather production of electric discharges and short uh, uh, circuits inside uh, satellites. And the mitigation measures which we suggest for this is switching off the electric systems of the satellite mainly of the satellite computer because uh, short circuits uh, may happen in satellites only if there are uh, working electric circuits. And in fact, uh, the mechanism of uh, this is that uh, space weather particles are protons which are positively charged and they charge the shell of the uh, satellite and then electric discharges uh, may happen inside the body of the uh, nanosatellite. And also we propose uh, development of dedicated sensors and special uh, logic uh, circuit uh, for this pr purpose. And uh, still uh, there are problems uh, uh, with these measures and the main problem is how to awake the electric systems of the satellite after the end of the uh, space weather event. Uh, second uh, problem is uh, space weather production of uh, inductive electric currents in the satellite shells. Uh, in fact, uh, uh, space weather particles carry frozen magnetic fields uh, inside the space plasma. And these magnetic fields produce, produce uh, inductive electric currents on the shell of the uh, satellite. And in fact, there are no measurements of these currents. But uh, for example, uh, this process produces uh, currents inside the uh, geomagnetic shell of the Earth, which are from 1 to 100 million amperes. So such kind of cur currents uh, Maybe uh, very significant, uh, of course, uh, uh, it depends on the size uh, of the uh, body. And uh, mitigation measures are to use highly conductive materials of satellite shells, uh, which is able to hold uh, high currents. Uh, the third type of problems is space weather production of uh, communication interferences and mitigation measures which uh, we suggested are using of uh, frequencies which are less effective uh, uh, to interferences uh, from uh, space weather. And the second group of uh, problems is cosmic rays impact uh, on uh, space missions. Uh, galactic cosmic rays produce a combination with the electric conductivity centers in uh, semiconductors and are ter turning them into electric uh, isolators with the time. Uh, and uh, in fact what happens in, uh, inside the semiconductor in order to have uh, any conductivity you need to have three electrons. And uh, protons from uh, cosmic rays uh, tend to recombine with these electrons and uh, turn them uh, into hydrogen atoms and the uh, semiconductor became a uh, complete uh, isolator and uh, uh, electrical system of the satellite uh, stopped to operate. Uh, and, uh, Uh, mitigation uh, measures in this case, uh, which uh, was suggested by, uh, by our
power quality urban from South Africa is to increase the, the size of the semiconductors. So in this case, uh, they will uh, live uh, longer. Uh, the second uh, problem uh, uh, is with uh, solar cosmic rays. Solar cosmic rays are produced by solar proton events uh, and uh, solar proton events can be predicted uh, uh, by looking at the solar surface in X-rays. Uh, the same kind of prediction is used for space weather prediction. Uh, that's why the mitigation measures uh, uh, for solar cosmic rays are the same as uh, uh, for space weather. And uh, uh, the third uh, problem is uh, galactic cosmic rays uh, in result of uh, communication uh, produce uh, uh, loss of communication. And in fact, cosmic rays uh, are uh, going to become a very big uh, issue when we are going to set, send uh, nanosats to the moon. Something uh, what uh, our colleagues from uh, Syria uh, technology intend to do because the moon doesn't have any uh, geomagnetic shell so any uh, nanosatellite on the lunar orbit uh, will be affected uh, very heavily by the cosmic rays and in the end uh, uh, we uh, believe that the measures which we suggest if used in nanosats may increase the lifetime of the nanosat several times and their lifetime may become as long as uh, of the big uh, satellite. So we believe that the uh, work of our group was very productive uh, and the possibility to bring together engineers and space scientists was more than excellent and we would like uh, to thank uh, to the organizers uh, for this uh, great idea and for this possibility to have this chance. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.